So when the entire world operates according to this one idea of the right choices, whichever option makes the most money, you end up with a world that is increasingly the same. And financial maximization is the belief that the correct choice in every decision is whichever option makes the most money. This is the default setting that runs our world. And this is a reason why we're in a lot of the challenging situations we're in right now. Drugs that have been around for decades that suddenly are seeing increases in prices of thousands of percent, all because some private equity firm now has bought their rights to them and is trying to bleed them dry for everything that they can. But this isn't just happening in super serious areas. This is also happening in the movies, that over the past five years, each year, the top 10 in the box office, almost all of them are remakes and sequels. You just end up making the same thing over and over again. It's safer. It will produce a greater financial return. The idea that the movies should exist to inspire us, to excite us, to bring us together, all of that is far less important than what movies will get people to pay the most money. So when we picture our self-interest today, we imagine this, the hockey stick graph, where whatever it is we want is growing so fast the line slopes up and to the right. But if you think about it, this is actually just a tiny slice of a much bigger picture. Because this x-axis, it represents time. And it keeps going from now into the future. And the y-axis of whatever our self-interest is, it also keeps going from me to us. As our self-interest grows, so do our responsibilities. And so while we focus so intently on this space, there's this whole other space that we miss out on. And we can actually chart out these different spaces and see that actually there are four distinct boxes here to think about. There's now me of what I want and need right now. There's also the future me box, what the older version myself will want. There's also now us, the people who we rely on and who rely on us. And there's also future us, our children and everybody else's children too. Now I call this way of seeing bentoism, like a bento box. So if we think about something like the rise of drug prices and why, what's wrong with that? Now this is a distortion of the intention of the science, right? The science is there to cure people, not to enrich someone but our entire way of shifting for how we think about health and medicine has changed from being something that's solving the challenges of us to just being a tool for someone to make as much money as possible. If we're to think about what kind of movies Hollywood should be making, they should have a vision of what kind of stories they want to tell. They should be working with auteurs who want to reach certain audiences and they're imagining the long term of, of building a new audience. You're trying to build the next platform, not just bleed the last one dry. I believe our greatest human potential is in expanding what we think of as our self-interest and expanding what we think of as being valuable. Today our options are limited by a very specific notion of how the world works. Our best future is in exploring this new frontier of value and discovering new ways that we can help each other, that we can create value for the future, that we can create value for each other.